Eamon Khan here for seconds out with big heavyweight Moses Atama deep in the Daniel Dubois training camp. Yep. Uh, Moses, good to see you. How are you doing? Oh, all good, all good. How are you? Yeah, not too bad again. Like I said, all the better for speaking to you. Uh, Moses, first of all, what, what brings you here? Um, so I was sparring really, isn't it? So obviously I was, I was training at home. I've got a fight coming up in about a week and a half or so. And um, I just need the sparring. Obviously, Daniel needed the sparring because obviously he's boxing. Alexander Huzik, who's a southpaw, and obviously I myself am a southpaw, so, so yeah, I think uh, we're good for each other. You were, you were telling me yesterday that you and Daniel had sparred countless rounds beforehand. Loads. When you spar for this camp specifically, do you try and change it up to no. in any sort of way? No, nothing like it. It's like you do your learning when you're practicing with your coach, and then when, when you're sparring, you kind of display it. And then obviously when it's on fight, yeah, there's like no mistakes. So yeah, no, I don't try to change nothing. Just, just go with it. What sort of sparrer are you? What do you mean? Like, are you competitive? Are you trying to win? Like, is that in your mind, or are you just um, try things out? No, I'm not trying to win, but I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get bullied. <laughs> so like, it's, um, yeah, I just spar, I just spar, just be me in it. Mm. What's Daniel like to spar? Well, he's strong. Mm. He's strong. So I think that's that's one of his main main uh, aspects are obviously if he uses his his um, his strength in the fight he can come out victorious yeah look at it everyone knows it's a difficult proposition but these uh, Don Charles and Daniel are taking this and saying look this is our moment we're gonna yeah, we're gonna course. strike here and we're gonna prove the impossible is here they're meant to think like that though of That's course right. they're meant to think like that if they don't feel like that then they're not sure <laughs> talking about just Usyk as a fighter look we as the public we build him up to be one of the, you know one of the biggest beasts and look he's obviously you know deserve, deserving of that accolade yeah. I mean his cruiserweight accomplishments and now the heavyweight accomplishments too but for your eye what do you see in Alexander Usyk that makes him so great? Um, it's probably probably his, his obviously his boxing ability. Like he's not a massive puncher. He's not the fastest. He's just like all round, like ring IQ and generalship. I believe is what what won. But if you think of it, like as a heavyweight, he, he hasn't really been like that. Like obviously he beat he beat um, Derek Chisora. Um, with Witherspoons and all them lot, but he ain't, he, he's kind of got that like, fast track to the top. And obviously all he had to really do is beat AJ. I'm like, not obviously not brushing other fighters under, under the carpet, but all he had to do is beat Anthony Joshua. And obviously he was there. And I feel like obviously Alexander Uzik was perfectly like his style, a southpaw mover was just a nightmare for AJ. So yeah, I feel like obviously Ring IQ is his best aspect, but I don't know. Heavyweight, one punch, and that's it. Can change the whole game. Do you see? As when you're looking at a fighter, do you look at him as like, oh, look, future potential opponent. This is what I could do, and this is how what I could. Uh, of course, I, I look at it. I look at everyone as a future potential opponent. Like, um, like I'm, I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not here to, to to play the game. I'm here to win it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <sighs> 100% I look at everyone as my official opponent. Name one specific thing about Usyk that you've seen that look, that's something that maybe people haven't seen about him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I actually had a ring with him or nothing, so I wouldn't know. Fair enough. Uh, is he as close to the complete fighter maybe in the heavyweight division? So that guess so. Close to being the complete fighter in the heavyweight division. Yeah, of, of course. Like if you're talking about skill-wise, yeah, I think obviously he's small. Uh, he's not he's not the biggest heavyweight or whatnot, but yeah, obviously if you talk about skill aspects, yeah, probably. Let's uh, bring it back to yourself. Talking about the fast track, you uh, and Queensby want to put you on that fast track, and you you get in the activity in the ring in 2023. Espindola is in the opposite corner to you, I believe, uh, in Telford. I'll be there covering the yep. show. Looking forward to it. Um, but what is it about you about for you in this fight? Are you looking to just kind of showcase more of your skills? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I just get in there and do my thing. Like I'm not. I don't. I don't overthink stuff. Like boxing is just boxing. If I go in there and I knock him out, good. I've knocked him out. If I go in there and I won on points, good. Like I won on points. I don't, obviously I don't think about losing, but like, I don't overthink it as like, as much as other fighters do. It's very interesting that you don't overthink it because the boxing public do. Yeah, when exactly. They, look at, they when... do too much. Exactly. They're, 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 everybody's like worried, worried about other people's stuff. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. But it's like, especially for a heavyweight yourself, and we hear a lot about you, and that, that I don't like to use the word, but the hype is justified right now mm. about yourself. 
you know, we see you as being one of the next big things, the next generation of talent coming through to take over the mantle from the likes of Andy Joshua. So they will scrutinize your, your performance and say, hang on, maybe this could happen, that could happen. Mm. Do you feel that sense of scrutiny on your performances? Um, yeah, of course, but like I said, everything, everything in life that's worthwhile is, 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 is formed with pressure or under pressure. So listen, like I said, like pressure makes diamonds. Mm. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm not that, like, you can't really deal with pressure. I've been saying this for time. You, ha you have to let pressure like, handle you and you see how you, you, um, you deal with it. Do you get what I mean? So it's like, obviously, a lot of people are putting pressure on me, but I'm not the type of person to, to acknowledge that. Like, I'll just go in there, do my thing, go into the ring and do my thing. I'm not really worried about what other people are saying or thinking or doing. Where did that mentality come from? My dad, <laughs> my dad, like, he's so laid back, so chilled. And uh, I feel like that's that's what I'm as well. What's your mum like? Um, strict. Is it? Obviously Eastern European, isn't it? So yeah, very strict. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've got, I, I grew up in a, in, a, in a good household and I feel like I am. I, I was raised well by, my, by both my parents. So yeah, I feel like I've got the Nigerian genetics and the Slovak mentality, so. Yeah, I feel like I'm on the, on the package. Do you look to, in the future, delve into those two territories? Maybe have fights there or at least put your feet on the ground there in terms yeah. of boxing sense? Yeah, of course, but boxing is... England, England hey, you're not going to get fans like English, English fans. And boxing ain't as big in, in Slovakia as it is in England. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Hopefully one day. A lot of talk about, you know, beating Mike Tyson's record. Is that still in your mind? Yeah, of course, it's always it's always on my mind. But like I said, it's a mid-term goal. Like, I'm, it's that's still two years away from now. Like I'm not thinking about it now constantly. Like like I said, I just get my fights under the way, fights on the way. Year or two, we'll see. We'll see whether it's in reach. If it's not in reach, so be it. Every division was slow for a moment, but now it's kind of picked up pace with a lot of fights being announced. Uh, obviously, we've got Usyk Dubois happening on August 26th. Uh, Anthony Joshua taking on doing White in a rematch or a trilogy. If you look at the amateur bout too as well. I'm gonna pick your brains on that. Yeah, don't look out fair enough, no worries. Um, just wanna pick your brains on that fight. Uh, who do you think is the favourite in that fight first of all? You know what? The fans are the favourite, the fans wins. You know why? Everyone's saying that AJ's gunshot and all this and that. I, I believe we get to really see if he well, if he's gunshot or not with this Dillian White fight. So personally me, I, I don't know. I'm sitting on the fence. I, I haven't got AJ or White. I, I believe like obviously if the old AJ comes out then I think AJ wins, and obviously if the, I don't know, I wouldn't say, wouldn't say new and improved, the new AJ comes out, I don't know, I don't know. But like I said, it's a good fight for AJ, it's a good fight for the also. so. Heavyweights get around in terms of sparring, you sparred either of those, or those two men? Um, no, I haven't, I haven't sparred White, but I sparred, I sparred AJ when I was about 16, 16, 17, but I only done two rounds, so I'm not really counting that as a spar. Anything peak your, peak your memory from that spot? Yeah, yeah, it's hard, man. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's hard, but there's a, any heavyweight can knock out any other heavyweight. So, like, I feel like in this division, you need to bring something more than power. Did land the uppercut? Did he, sorry? Did land the uppercut? Well, well, against me? Yeah. No, 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 it was a straight backhand, but... Was it? I mean, yeah, it is, it is. Fair enough. But, uh, the other fight, uh, Joyce versus Jang, or I should say Jang versus Joyce versus Jang, yes. Uh, a very surprising outcome for a lot of uh, boxing public in the mm. first fight, but Zhang Lucky, he, he earned that victory. Mm. Do you think Joyce can do anything to change the outcome this time around? Mm. I don't, I don't think him coming in light would help. Right. Yeah. I don't know. He, I, was it? Is this his career lightest? I don't know. It was, yeah, sure, like, like, stone like, what, like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm baffled. But it is what it is, isn't it? Like um, obviously I'm rooting for Joe because obviously he's English and um, I've I've done countless rounds with Joe as well. So um, yeah, obviously I'd want him to win. But I don't know, Zhang's tough. Mm -hmm. Very tough indeed. Yeah. Um, Tyson Fury mm. is currently taking on. Do you watch MMA? You know, um, you know what? I don't watch MMA, but I watch Hamza Chimaev, Conor McGregor, Khabib, and all them lot. But like, it's like it's like with football. I don't watch football, but I watch players. It's like UFC. I don't watch UFC, but I'd watch some fighters that 
you know what I mean? I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say or not. Well, but. just picking up on that point before we get into the question, Chimaev, McGregor and Khabib, Khabib. three big mentality-based yeah, fighters. I, Is I that why you watch them? I watched them 100%. Mm. I haven't, like... I haven't watched the uh, Khabib Dagestan Chronicles. Mm. Like, yeah, I learn. I, you know, I learn. I learn. I learn a lot from them because it's, it's a combat sport as well. So it's uh, complicated. Uh, you know, complicated everything. It's two men fighting. Same level like boxing. Obviously, the rules are more, more stricter. It's still two men fighting, and um, the mentality is obviously is unbreakable. McGregor's the outlier of the three. Uh, he's completely different to Chimaev and Khabib. No, but they, they all work hard though. They all work hard. I feel like obviously McGregor maxed out, maxed out the UFC, if you get what I mean, if you talk about money or fame or whatnot. Yeah, no, nah, I do. Obviously, I do watch the UFC, obviously, and again, he's a scary fellow, but at the end of the day, a fight's a fight. Like if you get in there, you're going to have a dust up. You can't be scared or whatnot. Do you think uh, Ngannou can bring anything to uh, upset Fury? You know what? I, I genuinely do believe it. Like I said, it's a fight. Mm. Two men, both weighing 110 kilo plus. If they're going in the ring and having a dust up, like, oh, whoever lands first, isn't it? Mm. Like, it don't, don't matter about skill or whatnot. If you've got two men fighting, that stuff is bound to happen. Mentioned about the scrutiny in the boxing public. Boxing public haven't taken to this fight, though, Moses. Say that again, sorry. Boxing public haven't taken to the fight between Fury and Garner. They don't, don't really want to see it. They don't really want to see it, but listen, if it's going to do numbers, then you know, it's, it's, it might be just the British fans that don't want to see it. But I know, obviously, a lot of people have been talking about it and have been heard about it. Obviously, mate, they, no, no one really wanted to watch Mayweather and McGregor, but look at the numbers it done, you know what I mean? So, obviously, it's good, it's good. It's, it's good for boxing, it's good for MMA. When you get there eventually, would you entertain something like that? No, no. Mm. I don't think they're ahead. Mm. I don't think they're ahead. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, can't, I can't say yes or no. I don't, I don't think they're ahead. I don't think that far ahead. Uh, Joshua was saying that when he was champion, he would have he would fight be fighting all these fighters. It was a more moving division. Maybe kind of point the finger saying Tyson Fury isn't making the division move as much as he should do now. Is it? No, of course I do believe he should be fighting. He should be fighting Usyk. Um, he should he should be fighting the other guys. But at the same time, if you get if you get paid a lot of money to fight in Gami, then why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Well, obviously for boxing, it's a bit unfair. Like you got people waiting to fight for the title and he's gone in the fight the UFC fight it's unfair but life's unfair isn't it that's unfair indeed like it's a tough sport indeed bringing this back to you Moses where do you want to be at the end of the year 2023 is finished where are you yeah 8 eight and all. don't really matter about having knockouts I've got. as long as I've got 8 eight wins under my belt and um, I'm climbing up the rankings there's another fighter that people look at who you know, they put in the next generation of talent, Delicious Ori, who's collecting medals. And are you watching his career, Delicious? I don't. I haven't watched his career, but like Delicious as well. I've done that's first time I sparred. It must have been about 14. And ever since until last year, we had done stupid amount of rounds. And um, you know, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him that he's gone and and he's gone and um, obviously qualified for Olympics and. Uh, won the Europeans and it was, obviously it's not easy but yeah I'm happy I'm happy for him and obviously hopefully he, he goes on to win it but I'm, I'm, if, if him and if him and Nev ever box and Nev's the German guy that I'm quite I'm quite good friends with him if them to ever box I'm sitting on the fence <laughs> fair enough I won't be sitting on the fence uh, next week when you're getting in the ring tell me what happens when you get in the ring next week uh, Go in there innit? and uh, just box, dis display my skills, and I'll hopefully get the knockout. If I don't get, I'm not bothered. Moses, real pleasure. Thanks for taking the second time.